Emily won't be quiet. She's making all kinds of racket and stuff. I, she's making fun of my drinks. She said I'm drinking Barbie juice. But I can't really argue with her. Hey guys, we're back in the deer woods. It's uh, October 20th, about 6.20 in the morning. First day, youth rifle season, 2023. Houston's in the blind, should be Emily. It's Emily's turn. But, <laughs> Houston harvested a really nice buck with his crossbow. Unfortunately, um, we didn't get to it before the coyotes and the buzzards. So we still don't have any meat for the freezer. But, like I said, Emily's probably it's her turn to be in the woods today um but she didn't want to miss school this morning this guy said i'm not going to school if i can go deer hunting and we're here back at the mill creek property because we're hunting a true giant um we've got all season to put meat in the freezer we can shoot does we can shoot bucks we can shoot really whatever we want but we got a big guy we're chasing and uh it's Friday, youth season runs Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I asked Emily if she was gonna hunt this evening and she said, no, I gotta go to the football game. So <laughs> she's given Houston way too many opportunities to harvest a really big buck. But uh, we know how lucky she is. All she has to do is hunt once usually and she, big guy walks out. So we're gonna get settled in here and hope our giant shows up this morning. He's been daylighting on camera morning and evening several times, but he's kind of uh, moves around the property, hits different areas. So we just hope we can get lined up in the right spot at the right time. We broke the rifle out. Houston shooting a, uh, a CVA uh, 6.5 Creedmoor with a really nice Vortex optic on top. And uh, it'll get the job done, I promise. So maybe he'll show up.
just say, be ready. Be ready. Well, we're walking in for an evening sit on day one of the uh, youth rifle season. This morning went great. It was, I mean, we had four different bucks, a couple little does, but no big shooters. Problem is with this evening, it's 90 degrees. And our big buck, our big buck that we're after is coming into the field where our um, shed blind is. We could go over and set in the timber, but with the way the wind's... Not sure about that. Somebody tell Siri to be quiet. We're trying to hunt here. Anyways, the way the winds are really light and kind of everywhere, I want to get in that in that blind, let it contain our scent. <sighs> but it's going to be hot in there. morning a day two of youth rifle season only difference is i brought my good luck charm <laughs> morning two youth rifle season finally got emily in the woods for the first time this year um she's busy you know she's a busy girl but we left houston at home he's in bed we're gonna try to get a big buck on the ground we're at mill creek um my stepbrother and his son are at, at our house hunting doing a little doe patrol hopefully they can knock a doe down early this morning. Uh, Jesse's never never uh, harvested a deer, so I th he, they called and said, asked if he could come in and kill his first deer. I said, sure. We have a plethora. We have many, many, many does that need to be thinned out at home. Here's a little different. Our buck to doe ratio is crazy. There's not many does and a whole lot of young bucks and a few big ones. So maybe Mr. Big will show up this morning.
back for the evening sit. Houston's buck video is premiering right now. We have 5,200 people watching. <laughs> Houston, uh, look for his big buck right now. And three does just came into the field. So Emily's been reading her book, trying to get her homework done while we're sitting in the blind. It's about 85 degrees. It's too hot to be deer hunting. But the big buck slipped us up this morning. The other day, you know, he, he, keep, he kept going to the wrong blind. Me and Houston were hunting. Well, this morning we came where he's been. And now, this morning he was back at the other blind. We didn't hunt there this evening, though, because of the wind's all wrong. But anyways, we got deer in front of us. Okay, <sighs> last morning of youth rifle season. Conditions aren't perfect. We're kind of going in with a questionable, a little bit questionable wind. This big buck's getting under my skin. He has played cat and mouse with Houston and I for a week and a half, maybe two weeks. Yesterday, Emily and I were hunting in the wrong blind. He was in the daylight in the, at the other blind where he typically doesn't show up in the daylight for like 30 minutes. So it's the last morning of youth rifle season. We're going to get in here, get set up good and early. And if he pokes his head out of the timber, it's over. Like I brought my good luck charm. Emily is, <laughs> Emily is the big buck slayer. Houston will be really upset <laughs> if she gets a shot at this big buck. Uh, but I haven't even shown you guys a picture of this deer because I just don't trust people. I don't trust not you guys or as our followers, but people in general in the area don't need to see some of the stuff <laughs> road hunters are a real thing road hunters are a real problem so hopefully we can actually show you this deer soon the slayer Captain's log, mission update. We are extreme failures. We've been struggling. <laughs> it's hot. We're back for the evening set though. We set this morning, didn't see a whole lot, a couple small bucks. And got out of here a little bit early, went to church, got some lunch, went home, did some chores, and we're back for an evening set. And it's uh, about 80 degrees and zero wind.
So this morning, like when I said, we had a questionable wind. Wind is the, the key word. We had, a, we had a questionable calmness. There is no airflow. It's dead still, which makes it even hotter in a ground blind. But it's the last day, last evening of youth rifle season. If Emily don't kill a deer this evening, it's her fault. That's just not much else I can do for her. <laughs> we just haven't seen much. It's been rough. Oh, and also, we pulled up, got all our stuff out of the truck. I changed shirts, got all, got the gun out, backpack, all our gear, walked all the way to the blind, get here, and I'm like, where's my tripod with my big camera? It's still in the truck, so. Emily kills a buck tonight. I'm gonna be filming it all on my phone <laughs> without a tripod. So when she shoots, I'm gonna try not to drop the phone because I promise you it's gonna scare me and I'll have a big reaction. We're gonna make the best of a bad situation though. <laughs> Emily's reading a book. Yep. What are you reading? For the crowded scene. Not my choice. <laughs> That's what your teacher said to read, You're huh? Being forced. See what I mean about the wind? It's just not going anywhere. It's not the best situation, but it's our last ditch effort. I'm not having any luck at our other blind right now. And it's just too hot to sit in that hot box. I didn't want to go sweat anymore. So our last couple sightings of our big bucks have been here. So we're gonna try it here. Dan, you sound like a train over there. It's just a little loud. Emily won't be quiet. She's making all kinds of racket and stuff. I, she's making fun of my drinks. She said I'm drinking Barbie juice. But I can't really argue with her. It's supposed to be fruit punch that I poured in a water, you know, in little drink packets. The label was red. That's not red. <laughs> Shh, be quiet. I don't know why we're not seeing any deer. Wait a second. <laughs> Thought you were reading. <laughs> uh, you're doing a read along. You know, when I was a kid, in order to do a book like that, you had to go to the library and check out the tape or the tape player, the headphones, and the book. It was all in a bag. We did that in like fifth grade. What you got there? Go ahead. Worry it. Oh, the deer is definitely gonna smell you now. Don't make fun of my Barbie juice. It's the same color as your snack. Yeah. <laughs> Well, as you guys can see, uh, youth rifle season did not pan out the way we uh, 
hoped and maybe even a little bit expected. Um, I really truly believed one of the kids would have a good opportunity to uh, take a big mature buck. And you know, I know a lot of people don't understand hunting and don't understand the reasons we do the things we do. And uh, there's there's definitely more to it than just a trophy on the wall. I mean, we use that meat to feed our family, and there there is just a challenge hunting a mature whitetail deer buck especially a buck they are smart man they're smart it's a challenge um we could go out any day and harvest deer on our property those young bucks there's not an animal on this planet i don't think that's that'd be easier to harvest than a year and a half old buck whitetail deer they're just dumb but as they get older they get very smart and as you can see through this video we've got three or four really nice mature deer on camera and we weren't able to link up with one of them cross paths with one of them we're just in the wrong place at the wrong time for three days with the kids but that was just youth rifle season we've got deer season's gonna run all the way through january 15th and just like well last season which was actually ended this year houston harvested limpy gimpy on january 11th so it's a marathon not a sprint now we're going to go back to archery season. We have a muzzleloader season coming up really soon. It's nine days long. It's like a primitive black powder season. And then later in November, we have, you know, two weeks of rifle season, and then it'll go back to archery for until January 15th. So we've got plenty of time to harvest deer. And I've been talking to a few people. I've got a buddy that's wanting to come out and uh, harvest a doe. And I, my, uh, my nephew, my stepbrother's son, the other day came out harvested a doe here. We've got a, a huge doe population here at the house, not so many at Mill Creek. So uh, I talked to a, a friend at the gym this morning. He said, hey, um, if you get an extra deer on the ground, extra deer in the freezer, and uh, you get more meat than you can handle, let me know. I'll put it in my freezer. And I said, listen, if you want deer meat for the freezer, you just say the word and Houston will get on it. He's got a lot. I think you can kill up to six does. I think Houston could kill up to six does in Oklahoma, I think. I'd have to go back and do, figure, do all the figuring. It may be four does if you kill two bucks. Maybe six total for Oklahoma. I don't, we, don't ever, we don't ever completely tag out. But it would do some good to harvest some does here, do a little bit of doe management, and remove a few from the population, and uh, get that buck-to-doe ratio a little bit better. So Houston doesn't know this, but we're probably going to be doing a little doe hunting in the next few weeks. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, it's a marathon, not a sprint. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. You guys have a great day. And as always, we'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.